everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Lunar 2 Eternal Blue. This is episode 17. We made it to a new city. I don't think this, this is Meribia. I don't remember. Oh, oh, this is uh, Latum or Latin or something like that, I think. SK's over tonight and it just happened to him in the RE3 remake. Oh, where they're, where they're like, uh, would you like to play on an easier um, difficulty? Yeah, that's... Um, I get what they're trying to do there, right? Like, they're trying to make it easy for the player to be like, oh, yeah, let's just, you yeah. know. But for, for a lot of people, it's, it, yeah, it is insulting. It's that, like, how fucking dare you? <laughs> this isn't a shrine. This is someone's house. Welcome to the shrine of the great goddess Althena. Our shrine is smaller than ones in neighboring towns, but what we lack in size, we make up in zeal. If we keep receiving donations, we'll be able to expand the shrine. How I look forward to that day. There will come a day when our temple is the largest shrine to the goddess Althena in all the world. But we need to collect many more donations before that can become a reality. Won't you help? Uh, no. The way DMC3 did it felt intentionally insulting, though, because you can't even select easy mode when you start the game. Oh, you can only change to easy mode after you die enough times. Yeah, I don't remember that. Um, I do remember dying enough to Cerberus. Uh, I think it was to Cerberus. It was either either I died because I, I recall there being a challenge room prior to Cerberus. Either I died at Cerberus enough times to, to have that trigger, or I died at the challenge room enough times to have it trigger. Um, but I don't remember, I don't remember <laughs> the, the not being able to select easy at the beginning. That's, that's, uh, that's harsh. <laughs> this used to be my house until I gave it to Althena's Chosen. Now my home is used to serve the goddess Althena and that makes me very happy. I've gladly given everything I own to the Chosen in exchange for the salvation of my soul. Lamina. Lamina just angry. You gave away- what- what was her voice? Lamina Alsa! This is just- I feel like it's just a differently pitched Ruby. You gave away your house? Don't you understand the value of home equity? Roses are red, chocolate is de delectable. You're not a worthy as- you are not worthy as my opponent. Easy mode is now selectable. Wow. Nice. A word of advice. Don't give away either of the two brain cells you have left. Lamina is so condescending. My, whole, my house has become a shrine to the goddess Althena, and I can't imagine a better use for it. We are working hard and casting aside our earthly desires to pursue our dream. Our goal is to collect enough money to build the largest shrine in the world. Why, though? The largest shrine in the world? has a nice ring to it. Just like I'm called the richest girl in the world, or the most beautiful girl in the world. That's definitely not Lamina's voice. I can't, I can't, I, I can't fix the kind of like cackle, the high-pitched cackle that she has in my head. I probably can't do it anyways. But my goal is to be called the legendary leader of the Magic Guild of Vain. Didn't you already tell us that you were the leader of Vain? Ow, I just punched my desk. Ow! Don't you think it's wonderful to serve the goddess Althena? Uh, I guess so. I'm sure that Althena appreciates your positive attitude. I'm sure she'll also appreciate your donation. What are you doing? These guys are frauds! We're going to use that money to buy fish! I don't think so. Ah... Uh, your eyes are yet clouded to the inner peace which comes with service to the goddess. Perhaps you should make a sizable donation to help cleanse your soul. Your silver will be good to put... Good to put. Put to good use. Whether or not you decide to become one of the chosen. There was a time when East and West Nota... That's what it... Okay, it's Nota. Not Latin. Nota got along very well. But then someone compared the two halves of Nota to Lunar and the Blue Star. 
It was an innocent comment, but it caused a rift between East and West that continues to this day. Which half of Noda was the Blue Star and which half was Lunar? The debate raged on and on, and now East and West Noda might as well be separate towns. It's a pathetic situation. That does sound like a pathetic situation. Athena can't be happy about the rift between East and West Nota, so I donate a portion of my salary to the Chosen, hoping they can repair the relationship. Unless they're going to build the largest shrine in between the two halves of the city, I don't think it's going to matter. They have the infinite wisdom of the goddess to guide their actions, after all. Why don't you donate too? Your money could help bring the two halves of Nota together again. What? I bet you just made up that story about Noda to trick us into making a donation. Probably not wrong. Now open up your money pouches and let the silver flow freely. No. Oh. Or pass. Who wants my money? I want my money. I don't even have that much money. I feel like. I feel like we're barely going to be able to afford anything. Hey there. Welcome to the trading town of Noda. Here you'll find almost anything your little heart desires. Okay. Far to the east of Nota and directly north of Takar is an ancient ruin. I have long been intrigued by their mystery. Why were they constructed and by whom? Alas, I have never been intrigued enough to explore the ruins myself. I fear what might lurk within. Maybe those ruins are filled with mounds of old treasure. Let's go and find out. I need to hear her voice again. Let's uh let's do it, shall we? Thank you, YouTube. I don't know why I'm worried about it. Hi, I'm a dork. That is not the correct audio. Damn it! Why have you betrayed me, YouTube? Ah, fuck. Idiots! You huh? totally destroyed my mega magic tester! Mega ma Okay, gotcha. I guess you did pass. You totally- I'm gonna have to just remember. You idiots! Okay. Try to- I will try to fix that in my mind. Yeah, and maybe those ruins are filled with the remains of money-grubbing adventurers. Besides, that place is rumored to be crawling with the undead, and I don't like what I can't kill. Wouldn't you be, like, the best person? I won- I wonder if there is a secret entrance into the ruins. And I wonder if there is any escape from the ruins after you have entered them. Wonder a lot of things, my dude. You you be wondering a whole bunch of shit. Ooh, give me that. Goss's necklace. This might come in handy. What the fuck? Excuse me? What? Recovers 7 HP per turn when worn? Yo! That's awesome. Who do I want that on? I feel like we put that on um, Bronfar for now. I've never seen my precious Julia so sad before. It's as though she is always on the verge of tears. All I want for my daughter and all I've ever wanted is for her to be happy. I know that my husband wants Julia to marry the mayor of West Nota, but he doesn't realize that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to burden you with problems that obviously aren't your concern. It's one of those... Oh. Oh, like, isn't she in love with a boy from the other side? I don't know. Are you here to discuss business with my husband? He's always in the mood to talk. Enjoy your time in East Nota. Perhaps I'll see you again soon. Ah ha ha! Life is beautiful, my friends! Just look at Julia, my lovely daughter, for the proof. 
After she marries the mayor of West Noda, she's going to live a life of luxury. This wedding will also begin a new era of cooperation between West and East Nota. The daughter of East Nota's mayor marrying the mayor of West Nota. Isn't Nota the freaking place that was like the, the inbred country bumpkin area in Lunar 2? Or in Lunar 1? Maybe it wasn't in. I actually don't see it in. What is the. What's the place I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of. It is Lighten, isn't it? what I said originally? Yeah, it is. It's lightened. Okay, so I I have conflated different locations. Ignore my incorrectness. Feels like it matches though. I'm going to be the most famous leader in the history of East Nota, and it's all thanks to Julia. That's a little fucked up. The marriage between Julia and the mayor of West Nota will be a wonderful occasion. I've already purchased a wedding present for Julia from a traveling merchant I've known for years. I shouldn't tell you this, but I jumped the gun and gave it to Julia already. It's a magical crystal, with the ability to capture and replay the memories of whomever is holding it. How splendid! That's cool. I'm assuming you're Julia over here. As the daughter of the mayor of East Noda, I have responsibilities and obligations. If I marry the mayor of the West, Noda will be united, and everyone in our town will prosper. And no one would benefit if I married someone else. No one but me. I can't let down my father. I have to go through with this. I know it will be for the best. Forgive me, Kyle. Kyle! Well, might might be a good idea not to marry a... But... <laughs> oh, Kyle. Mm -mm. Um, I don't mean to interrupt, lady, but why are you staring at that crystal? This is the... That's a stupid name. <laughs> that's a stupid name, Otis Bodis. This is the Rememberizer Crystal. Fuck that name. When you hold it, you can revisit your most precious memories. And there are certain memories which I can't stop watching. Can we also watch this memory? No, we, we can just see the guy. Okay, well, we're out of here. Uh, bye bye Good luck, Julia and Kyle. I'm sure we won't be involved in this at all. What's up, bro? Hey, hey, come on over here if you got the time. If you don't got the time, make the time. Have you ever seen a fish like this before? Didn't think so. This little beaut is from the Minia Sea. It's the rarest and most delicious fish in the world. And if you don't believe me, go on and have a bite. Wait, you're just letting people bite this fish? Delicious fish? Those are the most beautiful words I've ever heard. Let's have a bite. Yeah! What the fuck? Small request, Red. Aim your flaming ha halitosified exhalation away from my head next time. Oof. Did I forget to mention that I basted this fish in my own special spicy sauce? So you ruined the fish. Gotcha. Understood. Well, I, I say that. I actually like spicy sauces, but... But I might need to cut back a little on the spices if anyone else starts breathing fire. Oh, that's... That's a... Uh, that's a feature, not a bug. I am a third-generation merchant. 
My grandfather taught my father and me all the tricks of the trade. Gramps was never happier than when his customers were happy, too. I feel the same way. Got something to sell? No. You're the worst merchant. Hey, hey, mister. Do you know the name of the Dragon Master? He's the greatest of the four heroes. I don't want to be a merchant like my dad. I want to be a Dragon Master and work for Althena. Uh, too bad, kid. That, that, uh, that job's occupado. My, if that isn't the cutest little kitty cat I've ever seen. Is it for sale? Ooh, Ruby? I'm sorry, miss, but Ruby's my adventuring assistant, and she says she's not a cat. I'm not a cat, hero, and I'm not your assistant either. I'm... I'm... Just gonna read the line. I'm Hero's girlfriend! Okay, Ruby. What? It's okay to love your pet, it's not okay to love your pet. Perhaps some pyro will help to punctuate, punctuate, punctuate my point. I am not Hero's pet! Simmer down, Ruby. Remember how much silver Grandpa had to give the last person you toasted? Hi yi yi I need Ruby to chill out. Those merchants in West Noda make me laugh. I went over there to talk business, and all they wanted to talk about was the proper procedure. They want to do everything a certain way. They're very big on tradition and ceremony. I tried to explain that customers don't care about procedures, they just want good prices. But I came back here when I realized they'd never change their minds. Fools, all of them. The most successful merchants don't need any rules. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> they use their instincts and their charm. West Noda's merchants don't understand that, and that's why they'll never be successful. <laughs> I've traveled to a lot of places in my day, but East Noda's my favorite. The ladies here are so beautiful and flirtatious, I just want to take them all home with me. You're horny, game. I repeat, you're horny. Some people think this place is too crowded, but I like it because it never gets boring. Just make sure you keep a nice tight grip on your wallet when you're walking around town. This tavern is the craziest place in East Noda, and that's why I'm always here. This tavern's pretty chill, bro. Besides, this bar is stocked with every liquor known to mankind. It's like a world tour of booze. There's three barrels in the back and like, what? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe fifteen bottles on that shelf. You're killing me, Smalls. Say, what's a nice bunch of kids like you doing in a dive like this? Ah, oh, well, make yourselves comfy. Everyone's welcome here, whether they're nice kids or old coots. What do you think of Noda so far? Have you bought anything yet that you don't really need? Say what? Huh. Have you? Okay, insult the bot. <laughs> Feeling a little called out? Yes, yes I have. Uh, hey there, strangers. Welcome to East Noda's finest tavern. You all have a you all look a little young to be here, but I'm sure that I can slip you guys a couple of drinks when the barkeep isn't looking. I'm pretty sure Ron Bar is legal. Why don't I start you off with some of the local ale while you take a look at our beverage list? We have an assortment of fine liquors from around the world. You can't leave here without trying the Running River. It's the most famous drink in Noda. We also just received a bottle of booze from Zulan, and the fumes alone will get you drunk. When you live in a place as cold as Zulan, you need liquor that'll warm you up fast. I'm a traveling merchant, and I make a point of getting plastered in every town I visit. What the fuck? Let me tell you, the ale in this tavern is strong enough to get the job done very quickly. I also make a point of spewing chunks in every tavern I visit, so you might want to back away. The tavern in West Noda is nice, but this tavern is more fun, probably because it's louder. I'm sick of all Athena's chosen coming into this tavern to curse out me and my fellow drinkers. They're always telling us what we should and shouldn't do, just like the stiffs in West Noda. I'm proud to live in East Noda where I can do what I want when I want. 
And where did the Chosen get off asking for donations? The goddess lives in our hearts, not our wallets. If the Chosen enjoy law and order so much, they should move their dinky little shrine across the river. I'm sure the boring old fools in West Noda would be thrilled to see them. Ho ho ho! Come on in! Tell me, have you all found what you're looking for? If you can't find something in Noda, it doesn't exist. And that's all there is to it. It, it is... Um, Althena here. The merchants of Noda pride themselves on selling anything and everything you could want. What I want is to sit down and rest my feet. All this walking around town has worn me out. Oh, oh, oh. Then take a rest and have a drink. Lovely ladies are always welcome here. If you have a little spare time, I'll tell you an amusing story. I do I do enjoy this, that most of the barkeepers tend to have more dialogue than everyone else. Well then... Oh, no. No, I say that. And the game tricked me. The game tricked me. The fucking big place. Hey, can I have... I don't expect my supply of goods to last much longer, not with all that's happening in the world. Haven't you people heard of all the insane developments in other villages? A monster called the Destroyer was romping around Larpa. A statue of Altina was smashed in Dalton. The gates of Takar were closed for a short while. As I said, it's insanity. It's only a matter of time before something crazy happens in Noda. Just you watch. Yeah, I mean, we did arrive, so... On technicality, you're probably correct. Silverlight. Silverlight is the big one, right? Restores all MP. Oh my goodness. We have our first Silverlight. How very exciting. You won't find a better item shop anywhere in Noda. Especially not West Noda. You sell all of the regular items. Cool. Y'all come back now, you hear? If you're looking for armor, you came to the right place. The shops in West Noda are too expensive. Oh shit. We already have an iron shield. A flared dress would be an improvement. A silver robe is a pretty big improvement. Iron helmet is an improvement. A silver bandana is an improvement. We can afford this. Do I currently... Okay, I do have... Oof. Hiya! There are many weapon shops in West Noda, but this one is better than all of them put together. You have a single weapon. It's a broadsword. <laughs> That's it. That's all you got. And you're like, this is the best place ever. <laughs> really? Really? Oh my god. I mean, we'll fucking take that broadsword. By god. But holy shit, I don't think you should be touting that yours is the best place ever. Look like you're new to the village of Noda. I'm sure you've noticed our carefree lifestyles. Just make sure you're not quite so carefree about spending your silver with the local merchants. These shopkeepers will rip you off at every opportunity and do it with a smile on their face. I remember when I first moved here, I thought these merchants were making me great deals, and I found out that they might as well have been stealing all the silver right out of my pockets. Well, that's not great, considering we just spent a lot of money. I've been a trader since I was old enough to barter, and I'm sick of it. I want a new career. I don't want any more boredom in my life. I crave excitement and adventure in the great wide world. Oh, you're walking away from me. No, oh, that's all you had to say. Never mind. Noda is a busy trade center. Many merchants live in Noda and travel across the world to do business. 
My trading methods are simple. I buy goods where they're cheap and sell them where they're not. I usually don't travel any farther away than Larpa because I get too bored on long journeys. But I know merchants who sail across the seas to ply their trade and increase their profits. My father was a merchant and his father was a merchant, but I always wanted to be a dancer. Why are you not a dancer, bruh? You look somewhat pale, my friend. Perhaps you'd like to buy some green slime extract. It's really quite an effective and safe stimulant and health tonic. You want adventure in the great wide somewhere? I want it more than I can tell. Yeah? Well, you know. The only mild side effect that I have encountered is a complete loss of bladder control. That is not a mild side effect. That's the song from Beauty and the Beast. Be want adventure in the great wide somewhere more than I can tell. Is that from Beauty and the Beast? Bell's song? I'm trying to remember it. More than I can tell. No? What? Have someone understand? It's the, it's the the in this poor provincial town. Good morning, Belle. Right, like that whole part. I can't. I can't. It's been too long since I've watched Beauty and the Beast, which is sad because I used to be able to sing basically every song in that movie and most other Disney movies. Yeah, it's the end of the song. Aicha. My wares are the most affordable in town. If you find them cheaper elsewhere, I'll refund your money. Because I won't find your green slime extract elsewhere. <laughs> My mom says, sen always sends me to the west. Words are hard. My mom always sends me to West Noda to do her shopping for her. I hate West Noda. Everyone there is stuck up and uses really big words when they talk to try and sound all smart. But the old guy who runs the shop I visit is always nice to me. He's not like everyone else there. The old man gave me free candy the last time I went to his shop. Mom scolded me for taking it, saying to stay away from that weirdo. But he's the only nice person in West Noda, and he has candy. Questionable. Definitely questionable. Please try one of Noda's famous snack cakes, won't you? They're delicious and nutritious. You idiots! Give me a break! You're not going to sell anything with a pitch like that. Now, let's try it again with a little more enthusiasm and a lot more pizzazz. Alright, I feel like I understand Lamina now. Hiya! You idiots! Through the west door, there's a bridge that joins the two sides of Noda. This bridge is the only route between West and East Noda. Everyone in the village used to hold their weddings out on the bridge, including my wife and I. Those were wonderful times, but now the bridge isn't used for much of anything. When the relationship between East and West Noda went sour, the weddings came to an end. The bridge used to symbolize our joined communities. Now it's a symbol of the distance between us. That's a little sad. Yo, hold up. Before, before we get Leo'd or something like that. I don't fucking know. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What the heck? Oh, no! Fucking. I've been waiting for him to show back up. It's actually not a horrible water effect, honestly. Like, for the time, I feel like it's pretty good. Peak graphics. Peak graphics. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh god. What was Leo's voice? You did well to get this far, but you'll not escape me again. Soldiers, restrain our friends. Oh shit. <laughs> There's a lot here. Lord Leo knew you would come here. You fools stumbled right into our clutches. The fugitives are surrounded, Lord Leo. What would you have us do with them? Hold your position, soldiers, while I come down to assist you in their capture. I 
I mean, can't we just run the other direction? I know you said that Althena's guard was after you, hero, and you weren't kidding. I don't send the dragon ship Destiny to capture just anyone. I bet I know why the guard is after you, hero. You took out a loan and never paid it back. Shut up, Lamina. It's too bad you didn't meet me sooner. The Magic Guild's loans are practically interest-free. This isn't about money, Lamina. This is about Lucia. Leo's trying to capture her and... No time for talk, kitties. The only way we're getting out of this mess is with our feet. Run! Oh, shit. Like, right, we were not surrounded. Oh, God. That's a lot of peeps. <laughs> get chased out of town <laughs> while I could use big words to summarize our pre predicament I'll go with this really sucks we have to leave Noda and get Leo and the guard to chase us then we can pass the bridge what hero why don't we go to the carnival to the north end of the Midoriya Plains Gibbon and the others should be there by now they have a device called the magic arrow we can use the arrow to fly through the sky, and maybe we can fly right over Noda. Sounds like a plan, Gene. Let's go to the carnival, everyone. I'm surprised he's not more like, uh, excuse me, about it. I mean, I guess, you know, we've talked to them. I, uh... We gotta talk to everyone again. Why are guards blocking the only bridge in our town? Technically, I don't have to talk to everyone again. What the fuck is going on over there? Wow! Did you see the big ship that's blocking the bridge? It's the coolest thing I've ever seen! I wonder if they'll take me for a ride if I ask them really not- Wait, Mom wants me to go shopping. But our store is in West Noda, and I can't go across the bridge! Mom's gonna freak! All I want to do is cross the bridge and buy some groceries in West Noda like Mom told me to. But I can't go anywhere until all those soldiers get off the bridge. What is happening here? Are they they are they really that incompetent? Is this is this how we get away? The soldiers are so incompetent they're fighting each other to chase us? Get out of my way, Spud Boy! I'd rather not try to squeeze around your gigantic gut! Your insults are even duller than your mother, Grunt. I'll be the one to catch the destroyer, not you. Cease your mindless chatter and form up ranks. We cannot begin our search until you do. And then not listen to you, Leo. Sucks to suck, nerd. I'd like to humbly suggest we not enter this bridge house and get caught, caught by Leo. Well, you can... Can I ignore her? Must I lose my patience with the lot of you? Get into pro proper formation what once! Oh god. I can take them. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I don't know. He, uh, Leo is very strong. Hero, there's no way we can get to West Noda without being caught by Althena's guard. Oh, you're a party pooper. You're a pooper party. Closing the bridge between East and West Noda is going to destroy my livelihood. If I can't travel, I can't trade, and I can't survive. Why has Althena's guard done this? Oh dear. White Knight always likes to make quite a memorable entrance. I think he's gone a bit too far this time. The other villagers and I have grown accustomed to this outlandish behavior. But customers from around town are taken aback by him. And after this latest stunt, so am I. How many times do we have to tell Althena's guard not to interfere with our business? All that Lord Leo cares about anymore are his mad crusades. Did you witness the dragon ship Destiny? What a spectacle! This is just what the village needs! Excitement! I don't care what brought Althena's guard to Noda, I'm just glad they're here! If we're really fortunate, the guard will destroy something before our eyes! Yeah, the fucking village, lady. I never realized the influence that Althena's Chosen wields with the Guard on their side. Perhaps the Guard has come here to teach us to respect the Chosen. I knew something was going to happen, but I didn't expect it to be an invasion by Althena's Guard. Every time they come here, Lord Leo and his men have less and less respect for the people of Noda. Hmm. You can't cross the bridge to West Noda because Althena's Guard has set up a blockade. 
I do my shopping there, since the shopkeepers are slightly less crooked than the ones here. But now I'll be first forced to purchase inferior goods at inflated prices, all thanks to Lord Leo. I'm gonna throw this out there. Uh, everywhere we go, most of the places we go, I say, there's a little bit of, um, like a resistance or, or annoyance towards Althena's Chosen. And all of the shit that Leo keeps pulling while he's chasing us is just making that worse and worse. I've never been convinced that Leo is acting in the goddess's interest instead of his own. The guard doesn't understand how important the bridge is, and I doubt they'd care anyway. They do whatever they want, and they do it with impunity. It really bugs me. Did you know that the dragon ship parked at the west at the bridge between East and West Noda? Leave it to that blasted Lord Leo to chase away all my customers. I just hope they come back. Who are those soldiers on the bridge, and why won't they let anyone through? I'd like to apologize on behalf of my fellow citizens for this terrible inconvenience. <laughs> this is a blessing and a curse. I heard that Lord Leo blocked the bridge to prevent the destroyer from escaping. I'd be angry, but Leo's just such a scrumptious piece of eye candy. Yum. Okay, you. Thanks to the blockage of the bridge, business is booming. People are stuck here in East Noda and drinking like fish until the bridge reopens. Don't worry about it, though. We're all stocked up on booze from West Noda. I heard that the bridge has been blocked and no one can travel to East Noda. Oh well, I guess that all I can do is wait here and chug a few more mugs of mead. Bottoms up! What is the deal with Althena's Chosen? Now they've blockaded our bridge with the dragon ship. Why don't they go worship their make-believe goddess somewhere else and leave us alone? Oof. Bridge to West Noda has been closed off. I doubt anyone in East Nota particularly cares. Why would anyone go there when this is the best tavern in no when the best tavern in Nota is on this side of the river? Apparently to shop. There's a lot of craziness going on outside with the dragon ship and the destroyer and all that, so I'll just stay in here and ogle the barmaids and have a glass or two of Zulon whiskey. Alrighty. Oh ho! That dragon ship is a most impressive vehicle. Have you seen it yet? If you happen to meet the captain of that vessel, would you give him a message for me? Tell him the owner of East Noda's finest tavern will gladly pour free drinks for him and his men. The people of Noda might find it an inconvenience, but I think it's an honor to have the guard here. Making a note. Bartender in East Noda. Oh. How often do we have heroes like Lord Leo gracing our cheesy little village with their presence? That's fair. Hey there, do any of you folks know what happened? Happen to know what's going on? I don't understand why Athena's guard can't use the town entrance like everyone else. We've done that before. I've never seen my precious Julia so sad before. It's as though she's always on the verge of tears. Okay, it's reset the progress of our discussions, it feels like. Okay, this is all the same.
The dragon ship Destiny is here. That means why Knight Leo is here. Oh, his presence in Noda means that something big is happening. I just wonder what it is. All right. Says the same thing. Ugh. The reset uh, dialogue after an event is unfortunate. Because it does make repeats uh, take longer to get through. Nice. Good job. Okay. Catching a Tropius. Oh, that guy has something new to say. The wicked ones who sought to oppose Althena have fled to our fair town. For all our sakes, they must be apprehended as soon as possible. Apprehended, Otis Botus. Apprehended. Rawr. Okay. To Le Carnival. Shall we go? All right, we are going to save right here, and that is going to be the end of this video. If you're watching on Twitch, stick around. We're going to keep playing. If you're watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time for more Lunar 2 Eternal Blue. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash thedistanthorizon.